So let's talk about Crazy Town. Let's go to Crazy Town, Alex. Conspiracy the theorists <laughs> are at it again. So Timothy Holmes said, the wanted fugitive that was so obsessed with the Haley Cummings case, he started targeting the bio, uh, the attorney for Haley's biological mother. She got a restraining order against him in 2011. And over the years, Timothy Holmes said this pretend investigative journalist has violated that restraining order. And he failed to show up to his trial in 2019 and took off. There's a bench warrant out for his arrest. And since then, people are trying to track him down because we want him in jail. We want Timothy Holmseth behind bars. And he is now all around the country, Alex. He posted a video where there was snow on the ground, where he was outside John Benet Ramsey's home, creeping around this winter. And this spring, he was in Delphi, Indiana. He posted a video last night of him in Delphi, Indiana, where Abby and Libby were murdered, showing his self-published book in the video. What do you think about this, Alex? Um, well, he is a psychotic. Um, every time he shows that book, that's a violation. I have no clue what he is doing gallivanting around, um, you know, but him inserting himself into this case is so absolutely disgusting. You know, he and his uh, grandmother lover um, exploiting these cases, they know that the people they're accusing is not real, but he's okay to, you know, funky walk his stinky butt into Delphi and do these dumb videos and, you know, put information out on the internet that is going to affect this case, you know, because if you've ever been in any of these Delphi Facebook groups, they don't even like for you to do side-by-side -side comparisons of bridge guy with other people. And police have asked people not to do that. But yet we have this fool with his clip on blue blockers. Ugh, he's disgusting. So I'm yeah, going to ask. Yeah, with his saggy pants. He can't even keep his pants up. Yeah. What's in his pockets? Diapers? <sighs> yeah. So I'm going to ask everybody in the chat room. If you're on Facebook, I want you to join the Delphi case groups on Facebook. And I want you to post that this idiot is mucking up the case by spreading false information about the killer of these two girls. You want to see, you want to poke a hornet's nest? That's how you do it. Get these people after Timbo as they should mm -hmm. be, because this is disgusting. And Tim, we can still see your dashboard, you dipshit. Standing in front of his, his dash cam. And what you're seeing is Timothy Holmseth in Delphi, Indiana. And this is a video that he published on BitChute. And he claims that he's part of a fake Pentagon pedophile task force, which is completely fake and made up. He's committing a crime by posing as an employee of the federal government. And he's in Delphi showing his book. And this is in the spring. And I think it probably occurred within the last few weeks because everything is green there. So I'm thinking that it happened in late April to just recently. Alex, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. Because everything is uh, green through the Midwest. All the trees are in full bloom. So it was just within the last couple of weeks. And he is so disgusting. Like, looking at him literally makes me gag. And he just Randy looks like he reeks of failure and caffeine. <laughs> True. And his girlfriend, Randy Erickson, the woman that he's allegedly having an affair with, she has taken off with Timothy. She's left her husband. She, Timothy met her on the internet. And she posted on Facebook, 
looking familiar. Mert, when the investigators want Merle more, they call for the expert. And it was this video on bid shoot showing Timothy and Delphi. So Alex, she's insinuating that the investigators in Abby and Libby's murder wanted to talk to Timothy Holmeseth. And I'm calling BS on that. Yeah, and um, I'm engaged to Johnny Depp. <laughs> That's about how truthful and accurate those statements were. No, nobody is calling Timothy because he's an unmedicated schizophrenic. And, you know, he was, I doubt he went into the courtroom because talking to him, listening to these other people, they speak in like in hysterical terms they're just they're nuts i mean even reading their stuff you can tell that the elevator does not go all the way to the top so no one called tim we've mm -hmm. called him names but no one has contacted him they're lying yeah and here's the deal this is an unsolved murder of two teenagers from 2017 and law enforcement's desperately trying to find who killed Abby and Libby because this is a public safety risk. There is a dangerous predator that's lurking out there. And Timothy Holmseth is using this case to promote his book his self-published conspiracy theory book where he falsely accuses everybody under the sun of abducting Haley Cummings. He's using this case to promote his book and attack his enemies because he's trying to insinuate that Mert, a blogger that he has had a feud with, killed Abby and Libby, which is completely false. Mert is a retired man in Florida that is harmless. And Timothy is trying to use this case to attack him, which is sick, Alex, because this is a real case with real victims and Abby's family desperately wants to find out what happened to their loved ones. The police desperately want to find out who did this so they can get a killer off the streets. And Timothy is out here creeping around, not caring what he's doing. And if he is sending crap to investigators, then shame on him. You know, these investigators need real tips and real leads, and they don't need to waste their time going through his fantasies, his sexually charged fantasies about little kids because he's a perv. He's a disgusting, despicable perv, and they don't need to waste their time going through crap. They need real tips. So, Timothy, shame on you for wasting their time. Well, not only is he doing that, but he is also exploiting two murdered young girls for no legitimate purpose except to harass, defame, and maliciously attack innocent people at Mert. You know, he's lying. He knows that Mert is not the Delphi person, but he's such a despicable piece of garbage human that this is what he does. He's okay to exploit these two, two dead young girls, exploit their families, and cause them emotional trauma by saying this crap and putting it out there. He doesn't care that he's putting false information out. He wants people to run with this stuff. So again, I am imploring everyone in this chat, join the Facebook groups and turn this little shit in. Let people know who he is. And apparently Gray Hughes is aware of it. Someone in chat said, I hope he covers this. He's got a large audience. Put Timmy on the map. Point him out as the pile of trash that he is, because this is ridiculous. I mean, he's done some really scummy things over the past decade that I've unfortunately known about him. But this is just, it, enough is enough, Tim. Stop. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. You're disgusting. 
He is. He's he's a sick individual. And Alex, there is a man named Craig Sawyer that operates the Vets for Child Rescue who wants to rescue children from child trafficking rings. And Timothy Homeseth has been targeting him as well. Remember in the Haley Cummings case in 2009, Timothy Homeseth accused the lawyer for Haley's biological mother, Kim Bacazio, of having something to do with Haley's abduction, of trafficking Haley and other kids. He accused her of running a child trafficking ring with zero evidence. He sent her tons of sexually charged emails. He would not quit contacting her. He was inciting violence against her. His nutty followers. I have seen some of the vile crap that they've written about Kim Bacazio claiming that she needs to be executed, that somebody needs to do something to her. He's done all of that. And now he is going after Craig Sawyer and is accusing him of being a, a, a child predator with zero evidence and inciting people just like he did with Kim Bacazio. It's sickening. And Craig Sawyer's had enough. He's he's fighting back. Oh, yes, he is. Um, <clears throat> I can't say too much. But, um, yeah, he's nobody that you want to mess around with. And, again, you know, when you poke a hornet's nest, don't cry when you get stung. So that's uh, exactly what's going to happen to these two idiots. They poked, they poked, they poked. So, you know, fafo. They all cry when they get to the faux part. So we'll be seeing some crying soon. True. And him and his girlfriend, Randy Erickson, they're, they're going to find out. Because they are posing as a federal employee, posing as law enforcement. They're also claiming to work for the Joint Special Operations Command that's stolen valor. They're not part of the military. So they have a, they have some things that they're going to answer to. And Timothy also has his bench warrant that is good in the state of Minnesota for violating the restraining order that Kim Bacazio got against him. He's wanted in the state of Minnesota. So if he's ever arrested there, it's likely that that's going to be bumped up to stalking charges because he's violated the restraining order so many times. So I can't wait for karma to catch up to Timothy Holmseth and his adulterous girlfriend, Randy Erickson, who is apparently, she has apparently left her husband for this creepy perv that she met online. Her husband claims that he has not laid eyes on her in about a year. So Randy and Timothy, TikTok, you two are going to be arrested soon. Yep. <laughs> it can't come soon enough. Maybe we'll get the trifecta. Him, her, Fields trial will, will be coming up if he doesn't take a plea before then. It's going to be a hot summer. Look at this goober. Like, he even <laughs> walks. Seriously, he walks like he, he is just not... Um, yeah, he's I think in his if, 50s. If Craig, he walks like he's old and crippled. Yeah, and I it, he does not have any confidence when he walks. Um, yeah, and actually, if you, I actually zoomed in on my phone. I don't have. I should. I wish I could show it here. But if you look in the reflection of his glasses, it looks like there's a woman that resembles Randy Erickson that's actually taking the picture. Would that be that very, very, very large lump in his glasses? Asking yeah. for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. He, yeah, Herder! He looks like Herder! Hey, buddy, <laughs> this is my book. This is my book that I'm not allowed to publish anymore. That right there, I don't know what that is. Herder! Herder! <laughs> he looks like a creep. He really does. And can he not, like, what's going on with the blue blockers? I know. <laughs> Timothy, you're a booger eater. That's all there is to it. Yes. <laughs>